Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this really lovely spring design. So I'm going to be using some of the new Magpie gel colours and also the new Dixie Plate DP10 to create this look. So if you want to find out how I did this then just stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use Magpie Gel Color G's Louise. So, and I'm going to paint two coats of that, curing in between each layer. So then I'm just going to top coat those nails using the Magpie Gel Colour Let It Shine. Okay, then I'm just going to wipe those nails to remove the tacky layer. So those two nails are done. So then I'm just going to move on and use Magpie Gel Colour Pearls a Singer. And again, I'm just going to apply two coats of this colour curing in between each layer. Then I'm going to add a magpie glitter in Anna and this is a gorgeous um, metallic holographic and it just goes perfect with Pearls a Singer. So and to apply that I'm going to use my Magpie applicator brush and then I'll be using my Magpie duster brush to brush off any excess. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the pot and then I'm going to pat the glitter onto the tacky layer of the gel. So, and the Magpie gels have been specifically designed to have a really high inhibition layer, so they're really quite tacky, so you don't have to overwork the glitters in at all. So then, just with my applicator brush, I'm just going to gently brush over the nail really really gently I'm not even really burnishing this in I'm just brushing off the excess but you can just see how absolutely gorgeous that looks then with my duster brush I'm going to brush off any excess from around the cuticle and under the free edge and just look at that it's absolutely stunning and you can see what I mean, they're just so easy to work with into this um, gel polish. So then I'm just going to top coat that twice using my Magpie Gel Colour Let It Shine. So and then once that's all been cured I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer with the Magpie Cleanser and then brushing off any glitter excess as well. So then finally I'm going to be using Magpie Gel Colour in Plain Jane which is the white which is going to go on the ring finger. So and again I'm just going to do two layers of that curing in between each layer. Okay, so then I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer of that cure gel just so that we can stamp on top so you can see it all goes matte. So I'm going to be using Dixie Plates DP10 today to stamp with. So and I'm going to be using this big butterfly up here. I'm going to be using the colours um, 
Cool Paul from Mo You London and Dixie from As Melters to Kelly. And then I'm going to be using the Dixie Plates Deluxe Shrinking Stamper as well. So basically with these colours I'm just going to dab them on in random areas to get that sort of tie dye effect with it. So just want to randomly place the colour. Then I just want to mesh all of those colours together. And I'm going to pop the stamper out so that I can basically shrink the image and then put it onto my nail. Like that. So then I'm going to top coat that nail twice, curing in between each layer, and then I'll be back with you. So then once that top coat is cured, I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer of that. So then I'm just going to use some daily, daily oil and apply that all around my cuticles. And just give that a nice rub in. And then there we have it. A gorgeous spring design using magpie gel colors and the new Dixie plate. So I hope that you liked this video guys please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!